Hello and welcome to Channel UTM. This is a tutorial based uh, research channel um, and I'll be showing you the research results, research in action and basically the channel itself is here to, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, show you how to do this yourself basically. So if you have any doubts or anything um, and you're interested enough then you can um, Go and find this information out for yourself. Um, it's that simple. Um, there's loads of videos now. Um, there's some tutorials as well. Um, and if you have got any questions, then uh, just give us a shout. Okay, right. We are going to Mars again. This is the logo. It's a crap one. Um, <clears throat> right, this image. Um, I couldn't really find anywhere I could find bits of it um, I have got another one um, but this is from uh, Thomas Apre I think it's on it's on Flickr anyway so um, copyrights are cool so uh, there's no there's no problem so what we're going to be looking at uh, today is um, and I'm going to be needing some feedback from you guys as well um, if you are familiar with the channel and um, what I've been doing, explaining, looking at, um, this one is going to ring some bells and some very strange bells as well. Um, I remember I was doing a lot of this stuff a couple of years ago and uh, I basically had to stop doing this research because it was just taken over everything and uh, it was doing my head in. I couldn't work out what was going on and stuff like that. So if you are new and everything, this is all very plain and simple. Um, uh, I'm going to show you some of the research as well. So hopefully you can, um, it will tune you into to what um, I'm revealing. Um, and I do highly recommend um, using the pause button and just absorbing the images. You've got to get used to them. We're not used to this sort of, uh, um, shall we say, bad quality, um, blurriness, um, things like that. So it can be very difficult. You know, it's a very unfamiliar ground. So um, sorry, guys, if you've heard me say this uh, so many times now, but um, it has to be done. Um, there's a lot of people that need to understand these images and uh, and what's going on and that's what we're going to discuss today because um, I don't know what's going on and um, as we go through it um, you'll see what I mean <clears throat> okay okay so we'll have a look at this this image is it's actually coming in rather large um, but I just want to point out a few bits in the in the image. You can see there's a lot, a lot of striping in this. Um, let me just go to this is the same image, uh, um, and basically it's just had a bit of contrast, just just so we can. Uh, so I can point this this bit out for you. Um, if we get in close enough, you can see this striping. Um, it's quite unusual, really. This is as these sort of images go. These curiosity images. It's not a very good one at all. Um, and I don't really know why. Well, I sort of do. But um, it's uh, it's confusing the living daylights out of me. So if you can bear with me, uh, we'll get into it. So like I say, use the pause, have a look. And I've got a couple of images and they're different stages of um, completion of sorts or, or, or um, yeah, different levels of um, the re-editing that we have to do 
because you've got to understand these images are completely edited <clears throat> before we see them so if we could just go back to this one um, now to anyone this would just look like a pile of rocks um, and this is my question um, is it a pile of rocks or is it something else and you might notice with the title um, I'm going to say um, biomechanical <clears throat> and as I'm going to show you this it, it it's strange is is it's a if this stuff is part of the rock itself and not as if you know the top of something has been blown off or, or like removed to reveal um detailing for example it's like taking the cover off um you know a computer and then you can see all the tiny little bits and bobs going on in inside of it um, I have seen this on one other site um, it uh, was on Mars Anomalies and he's been looking at it for years um, and I have had a brief I sent him some stuff a while ago and I was and I was noticing exactly what he was pointing out which was the the size of this stuff and it seems to be very small very miniature um, we can only estimate what sort of distance we are away here but it's not it's not massively you know from this foreground point to to the background point um, it doesn't look it anyway you know that's another thing we have to battle with is the the distances and the, the perspective of, of stuff um, it's very difficult you can hear me getting tongue tongue tied so uh, so anyway on the on the last um, Mars rover vid I did <clears throat> you have to excuse me I'm a bit croaky today we're looking at things that to me didn't look right um, we were looking at um, how ridge lines are um, and things which uh, look like they're in the foreground but they're basically their part they've been made to look in the foreground but and then there's background behind them and they, we find out that it's actually attached to it so the image has been broken up um, with dark and light elements um, I'll try and demonstrate that now I didn't have a quick go um, but I'll have a go so I'll, I'll try not to uh, chunder too much and just show you. So I'm looking at this area here. Um, and I don't know, this, it, this doesn't look right. This doesn't look right to me. Now I have done, really went, well I haven't gone to town, I haven't done the fully yet, but I had to go really, really work on this area which I'll show you later on and I think you'll be quite surprised uh, what what I'm finding so if I don't fly around too much we'll just, I'll just have a like a little look and uh, just so you can get an idea of the image itself in fact we'll look at it um on the one with more contrast so you can see a bit more can i get full screen yes okay ah oh dear what's going on now So right, all my equipment is just dying. So um, we bear with me. Okay. 
gotta have the ambiance. Yes, right, okay. Okay. Like I say, I'll try not to spend too long on this, but uh, it will be whatever it will be because um, we'll always find something. So, like I say, um, I won't um, hang around too much on this. I have to rely on you to pause and just take the uh, image in. Um, and I will point out some areas. Well, it it's more or less the whole thing. Um, you can see some unusual stuff here already. You can start seeing that striping coming through now. So, the only information I've got about this is um, it is Sol uh, 1745. Um, and uh, the, these rocks are supposed to be heavy with uh, hematite. Hematite, hematite, um, and I think that's a, it's a sort of like a magnetic type sort of rock or whatever. Um, and I tried to look for some reference um, from Earth, um, but I couldn't really come up with anything. Um, but it tends to grow in veins of sorts. So for those of you who are following this, or actually doing the research yourself, I just want to point these out. And you'll be thinking, oh my god, that... And if you're new, um, we've been looking at uh, the similarities that we've been finding with structures on various moons and planets. Um, very... It's very odd. Um, And as you can see here, they look very familiar. And this will get even more confusing. And point out this area here. Um, this is well which I worked on. Now, to anyone looking, it sort of looks like a um a doorway of sorts um but i have worked on it and i will show you what's going on another thing i was looking at as well is the way that these things the light and dark is used um, on things to make them look um opposite to what they actually are so this light area indicates that it's well, visually, it looks like it's sticking out, and uh, we've got the the shadow here, and that would indicate that that goes back, and so on and so forth. But with a lot of these things, you find that they're actually the other way around. As crazy as it sounds. And I did mention these sandy areas before. Um, and if you remember when we were looking at um, the actual ridge line or skyline, we've looked at it in a number of things now. If you get in close enough, you can see that the the uh, the foreground um, actually is part of the background, like it's been chopped to to um to hide the extent of what's actually happening in the image um so go and check them out i can't 
that uh, it was the last curiosity one um also um a couple of the moon i don't don't know which ones it's uh, it's all starting to get a bit confusing i'm trying to remember hundreds of images that i've got uh, it's quite difficult so and this area as well Yeah, I don't even know if I've looked at it. But anyway, back to the sand. We're looking at the sand and it, it just doesn't seem right. Um, you can see um, where some geological um, features run into it as if it would be like covered with sand and stuff. But with um, the editing that I do, you can... Um, literally pull pull the sand away and, and reveal what's underneath um so it's been edited but well, that's what it says to me anyway to the extent of the knowledge that that i understand with um editing or just working with images over the years oh hello okay let's just go where were we? Let's let's go across here. Now for the, and I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about it more in in something else. For for those of uh, you who are seeing lots of faces and and uh, creatures and animals and stuff and things like that. Um, Absolutely, I do as well. But I'm... It's the para, paradolia type sort of thing. The extent of it on this is going to be phenomenal for you guys who... Uh, who are into that. Um, when I, but when I started this, I think... I was... Because um, I started on the, the orbiter type photographs and of course the scaling on that and things so it's all it was all and everyone does say you know they're they're structures so that's how i look at it and don't get me wrong sort of um that sort of thing is right up my street i might have mentioned it on another video you know i'm i'm, I'm into conceptual art fantasy art and stuff like that so but i really do have to um take notice of what's what's happening in in forms and things like that and uh with the and i've done plenty of um had a look at plenty of things people have have shown us um and really edited the image to find that what they were actually describing isn't it is something it is part of something bigger and and this is more more or less what we're going to discuss today because i can't get my head around it it's that crazy okay right so we've had a look around the basic um just a little bit of contrast image so I'm going to do it right so i started another image um, and if you're familiar with how the tools work and stuff it does start saturating uh, uh, colors and things when you use uh, uh, these tools here um, if you're interested look at some of the other videos uh, it tells you what this stuff does so um but I got to a point where it was, I, it was getting a little bit too much, so I went and turned it into grayscale. Then I did uh, decided to colorize it a bit, and then you'll see where that one's led up to. So let's have a look at this image. This has had some editing work done on it for my end, so. I 
I'm going to let you pause and check the images out. Um, now you might not be seeing a lot. Um, But I'll do some I'll do some research and then hopefully that will. It's weird. Various images are easy, it's easier to see stuff at different um, zoom uh, percentages, and uh, to, it's it's like um like I said in the other one it's like mechanical debris. Now the fact this stuff is actually attached to all vertical surfaces and uh, and even under underneath stuff uh, uh, says to me that it's not uh, debris not when it's all the way over all the hanging you know debris if de debris had been blown off the top it would be scattered around on the floor and everything like that, not stuck to the stuck to the walls so let's have a let's have a closer look at, at this image um, and I'll do a little bit of um, bits bits and bobs to it I'll just so remember pause and, and have a look at this stuff um, and I'll, I'll point some bits out I mean and this is the crazy thing about it. What we've been looking at in the orbiter images of these buildings with um, we spoke about it as like terracing or, or you know platforms and stuff and how they're all connected and then every so often there's something else and, and a runoff of that when a platform with a, a tower or a spire and stuff and things. This is what I'm seeing here um and i don't understand it and it doesn't look like debris we're, we're supposed to be looking at a uh, rock and it has this flaky um you know those type of rocks that, that have this sort of makeup um but when you edit it they turn into these mechanical looking um connected technical structures and we're on the surface now looking at rock so this is what is confusing me what am I on okay so for those of you who are new the reason I do this as well is it this does it, this helps you focus dramatically on what I'm trying to point out basically the tools will highlight them and I can uh, push and pull those um, different shades of, of, of pixels with the, the three options here and the, and, the, and the two options here which are um, to make it lighter or darker and with enough work on it you can visually compress those images because you work on them individually basically to reveal what's going on now in regards to as what is going on uh, I don't know I, I'm I'm I don't know what is going on but this certainly does not look like the rock which is featured in the other images or, or, or of any description given of this this type of uh, rock okay I'll try and work on a few of these bits so you can start noticing the uh, increases in 
intricacies, the detailing of what we have here. Uh, and in regards to what we have, uh, I, I honestly don't know. This is why I've said uh, biomechanical. I mean, I'm going to throw some stuff out here because I don't usually give my full... Um, because at the end of the day, you know, the channel is... Uh, for you guys and for you to make uh, your own decisions and, and your choices you know in relation to doing this yourself you know trying to research this yourself is 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 the best way to come to some sort of uh, decisions about stuff you won't come to a conclusion not any sensible one anyway because the, the, I'm sure we're only just getting a very small part of the picture apart from the fact that we know that there are structures on pretty much all moons and planets in our own solar system as to who, what or, or, or why they're there is, is uh, you know the next part of the, the journey so this is um right so i'm gonna i'm gonna say it could or maybe um because we're supposed to be on mars apparently um the way this stuff looks there's a mechanical element to it um It looks, uh, you know, engineered. Uh, how can we say? But it looks part of the rock. So, is this some sort of? Um, I hate saying stuff like this. Is it a biomechanical technology? which is related to the other stuff that we are seeing on the moons and planets which uh, can grow and replicate itself and um, become part of the rocks grow around the rocks I don't know, I, I don't know. I'm going to leave it at that but the similarities are, are spookily, um, it's spooky. So hopefully you've been able to focus on that a little bit better. I'll try and get as much in the picture as possible. So you really do need to pause and, and check this stuff out. As far as I know, this is, uh, well, it's going to look very not the real colour as we look at this. Um, especially with the tools, because they do saturate and uh, play with the colours when they do, when they do their job. I mean, I, do, I just, I, I don't understand what, what I'm looking at here.
I totally understand how people uh, see because it's how we do it. It's just a natural, a natural thing. So look, I could, I could. What I don't want to do, like I've said, is put ideas into your head when I'm not sure. You know. Of course, if it looks like something. Um, then it looks like something, but it, as I've always found, it doesn't always, well, never, it never turns out to be what I've looked at, but I have got some stuff coming up and I've done a lot of work on it and I can only label it as one thing. And it is a statue of some description. I think I mentioned that in another video, um, but I lost all the work. I had a corrupt save and I lost all the work, so doing other things. So like here I could I could say that looks like and you see these unusual tops again. Like it's uh like a covering coming over. We looked at that in the other video. So hopefully now you can see how bizarre these rocks are. We've got right angles, we've got we've got tubes, we've got coverings, we've got what is going on. Right, so I could say that looks like a, a cat bear thing there. And I could say that is Jesus, Jesus's profile. And here I could say, look, we we've got a we've got a troll with a mouth. In a couple of ears, or I could say that is a, an eyeball with an ear and stuff, and that's pareidolia. And there's stuff everywhere, so now you're going to be seeing all that. So, have I ruined this for you? Can be a lot of people that are going to disagree, but I, I just have to keep it. I don't know. It's difficult. So, okay, and here's that area I pointed out earlier. So you can see here now the uh, the square elements of that and this here that in this image Or let's have a look at this image. Just looks like sand. I mean, this is obvious anyway. I mean, come on. If, if you can't, uh, you can't see this, then okay. So you can see how it's all it's all connected. This stuff is everywhere. And it looks machine like of some description. So think about like what we're supposed to be looking at, what I'm finding 
and what it could be. Because I totally understand the debris, you know, debris fields, stuff lying around, um, which we've seen loads of. Um, but this is part of this is the what this is saying to me is this is part of the um, the geological makeup of of these images. So I haven't worked on that totally, but that's the that was the doorway. Um, there is stuff in here. And it needs, needs a lot more work doing on it. But it's not, it's not a doorway. It's, uh, it's just been blacked out to make it look like I mean there's something there's definitely something here I've said now so I'm gonna have to do something on I? now I'm presuming that it's part of what is either side of it I wouldn't do it this quickly normally. So, and that's where I was going with this image. It was getting too, um, it's not for me. It, it's, it's for other people to see. I don't want people to get um, confused because this, you know, all this color variation and stuff is, is going to, it, it will confuse people. It's confusing enough. So you can slowly see these forms joining up. I'll just do that again and I work on those then maybe it will make more sense but like I say I never normally do it this quick it's uh, purely because you can miss stuff and it gets messy as well just want to demonstrate that this I don't know because I haven't worked on this enough that if is it part of what has been blacked out in that doorway looking piece it's difficult but take a lot of work so as you can see, I've done much, much less to this part of the image. Uh, can you see the faces? It's like two faces. So it's thingy. They're probably not. So, so this area here, and don't get me wrong, I'm not taking the mick when uh, when I say that.
doesn't take too long to focus in on uh, what we're looking at. It's just working out what it is. It obviously isn't. These can't not be natural rock formations. And the fact that they're hidden, and the fact that the the image, the original image, doesn't look anything like it. But you can see stuff. And you will need imaging software to blow this stuff up and to be able to view it with any chance of seeing anything. If you're new to the channel and uh, you haven't got a clue what I'm doing. So this was my thing. I, I just do not know what this stuff is um, I don't know okay I'll show you how to do this as well with layers. I thought it, I thought this one would work a bit better with um, um, some layers. So we want to. Right, sorry, I haven't done this for a while. I'm learning. Right, so this is this is the one that I grayscale grayscaled black and white um bit of tone started work on. I was just getting more out of it. I saw more straight away. So and another element which I've um explained before um, because I like to get as much detail out of these images as possible it does change the way they look so you lose the geological um, shadow and light and stuff and it does start to flatten the image out but considering what you have to deal with in the first place neither here nor, here nor there to me I just want the, the details and the information out of the image so so you, straight away, you can start seeing that there's uh, a lot more going on. I mean, it's it's everywhere. It's all across. It's all across. And I'm not going to be able to show you everything. So please use your pause. And just check it out. Striping, um, just to remind you, is that just the how the image has been made up, which is very weird. I think I'm going to do a bit about him because I've been looking into imaging and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, hold on. There's that, there's just a little bit of information of, of, of huge amounts of information that you can. Uh, find about the cameras that they use and stuff um, and that is from the AGU site hold on yeah this is the, uh, the American Ge Geophysical Union um, and there's tons of it it's got PDFs you can download and things like that so I only looked at that before I started the video I didn't have a chance to spend a week reading it um, but if you're interested in that sort of stuff. So. We 
what is going on. I'm just going to fade in the original image which has got just a little bit of uh, contrast on it. You look at the shadow area. You can start seeing what's going on. Okay. Hmm. What's happening here is very weird. bits and bobs out. It's simply everywhere. See this. I don't believe this sand is sand, and I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, Apologies to people on phones if you're trying to make head nor tail of, of this. Um, I hope it's working for you. Um, I do suggest using a, a large screen to view this stuff. Oh yeah, nearly forgot. Um, one of the subscribers who's been... Um, trying these methods for himself has just uploaded a video it's got a few problems with the DPI on it um, but it shows a speeded up version of some of the research he's been doing and uh, it's brilliant you just need to sort the quality out so you can view it properly um, but yeah there you go and uh, if you look in comments and you see uh, James White, if you click on his um, icon thing, uh, it, it will show you. Thanks again, James. Brilliant. Oh, look, there's Jesus again. I mean, I'm not joking when I say it's everywhere. So just pause and have a look.
it's that doorway area slightly better clarity on that When I do that, it means look at that. So guys, this is this is not a bit of debris lying around. It looks like this stuff is part of the geological makeup of the area that we're looking at so what what does that what does that mean look at this something missing here I can't I'm sure What is it? Look at this stuff. You can start seeing some detailing coming in, in in here, but also you can see the different makeup. You know, this has definitely been edited. What am I saying? The whole image has been is completely not what we're looking at. Not even close.
good to think what else I've got in my uh, files. I can't, I can't remember doing them. Yet. Um, but look at this when I pull out. What, what is going on? It's in every single piece. Let's do the uh, getting about this. Uh, I don't know if that's helping or hindering you. Done very, don't think I've done much to this. some stuff around here I don't want you to miss it I mean, doesn't it so look like what we've been observing from the orbiter images, regardless to whatever moon or planet it's on? The, the, the structural element, the layout of it. Um, I don't know. It's boggling me. Check this out. I mean, there's literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of stuff in this. What is this?
Oh, look at it. It's just crazy. It's just nuts. Right, I'm going to show you. Right, if you remember. Da, 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 da. This area I was talking about just looks weird. I mean, I don't know. So, anyway, I. Uh, because I wanted to give you an example, I did this before just before the video started as quickly as I can and there's a lot of working to do on it and I'll probably take this back to um, to uh, maybe you should look at it in black and white it might make more sense need to look at this one close up so this is all sand yeah now you can start seeing the form the shapes the detail in it and uh, well there you go Clearly part of this. So just check those areas out. Hold on a minute. We look at those areas. And uh, we go. look at this so when you're looking at these images and stuff these are the things you want to look for and how the edges are it's always like that I mean yeah you're gonna to have to search hard but if you want to know so look at those those little blobs There you have it. So, so we have all of these sandy areas, and uh, yeah, it's 
craziness. So I hope I've shown you enough and uh, please let me know what you uh, think about it. If there's any other research channels watching this and you're liking it, because um, there are people, we all have a look. Um, I still do, you know, they're, they're, those guys out there are the ones who inspired me. Um, so if you are, give us a shout. Let's let's get me some more subscribers and uh, get this out there. Um, no, we want everyone doing this. We want everyone learning what is going on. You know, once everyone realizes this stuff is edited. before we look at it, then uh, we can start with the real questions. Simple as that. So, I hope you enjoyed it as usual, guys. It's probably gone on for God knows how long, but there we go. Um, it's important. And uh, I will see you soon. Thanks.